In the previous video, we looked at how to take information from info.txt and find the average of these rows. We indicated that the first number right here is the number of rows to follow. So we have one, two, three, four rows after that. And then each one of these represents a number that we're going to add together and then average. I have the exact code that I used last time. We take in the file. We take in the first number saying how many rows are inside of this file, and that is four. And then we have file.nextline to clear up that uh, end of line token. And then we run the loop four times because there's four pieces of information here. We have a sum which we need to average, and we have a count which we need to average. Then what we do is we run the loop four times, we sum up all the numbers, count the numbers, and then say, what is the sum divided by the count in order to get the average? The problem with this is that you can see on this first line, there are four values, but there's only two and then three, and then there's only one value on this third line. So what do we do with taking in an irregular data set, which this one's four, two, three, and then one. Instead of using a fixed loop, we want to use a while loop that will end on the condition of there isn't any more information on this particular line. The way that we do that is we can take in each line and then we can split up the line using the scanner class. So if we create a scanner object here and we're going to call it split. And what we want the scanner to be is this line right here that we're taking in. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say file.next line. And that's going to take in this line right here and split it up according to the white space in between. And then instead of using this for loop here, we can use a while loop with a method of the scanner class. And that method is has next in. And so we want to say while well, split, not the whole file, but just the split, because we're taking out pieces of information of the split file. So we say split dot has next in. And that will run while there is something left inside of this line right here. And so then what we're going to do, instead of some file dot next in, we're just going to say split dot next in. And we are definitely going to need our count here, whereas we knew our count was four previously. Now, each time we're going to have to determine what the count is going to be. After it runs each time, we're going to figure out the average by dividing the sum by the count. And also notice that you have to reset your values here. If you don't, your sum and your count are going to be what they were previously. So let's go ahead and run our program. And you can see that, yes, that's 100, yes, that's 75, yes, that should be 90, and then, yes, there's only one number, it should be 60. You can see how changing that inner for loop into a while loop and making it run until each line is out of integers works well for irregular data sets. And then also using the scanner object split and splitting it by its white space allows the user to take in each value in the data set. So there weren't many changes, but you can see how this file is different from the previous file in that this has irregular data sets and the previous one had standardized data sets, which there were four numbers on every single line. And this has an irregular set of numbers on each line.